Our subject is creating success momentum. And this lecture is part five. Uh, awareness of inherent powers is essential to begin with. Once we remember our inherent faculties, then alone we can progress in life. So our inherent faculties are infinite. Mind being the faculty of consciousness, it has all those faculties which the consciousness has. And the ultimate consciousness, the infinity, is all knowledge, all power and all presence. And hence the mind has the same properties. Only we have to be aware of it. So with our awareness about our infinite possibilities, infinite capacities of the mind, and being aware that our mind functions at conscious level, subconscious level, supraconscious level, and metaconscious level, we are able to progress in life. And we should be enthusiastic to create a success consciousness. E and N, N means in. T-H-U-S, Theos, Theos means God in Greek. God means macro consciousness, infinity, all knowledge, all power, all presence. So enthusiasm therefore means being in macro consciousness, being established in macro consciousness. We must be proud of our past heritage, the legacy and shape of our future dreams. So inspired by the glorious past of the Civilization we, we are in, we should dream for a great future and work for it. Then alone, it is possible to create a success momentum and we must have a great idea. Being always inspired by greatness and grandeur is essential, is the prerequisite for any achievement in life. For great achievement in life, great dreams, great ideas and uh, our belief in greatness is necessary and then we can create a success momentum and success momentum is created by work, by action. When we engage in action continuously, we get the results, action brings results, positive action brings positive results and then we get success and success then become, one success becomes the foundation of another success and thus a success momentum is created. Any leader creates a goal for himself. Once he sets his goal, once he sets his aim high and begins to work for it, he develops the characteristics of leadership. He should, the leader always has a belief that some great things can be achieved, some great work can be done. He has an imagination to think big and imagination to think big awakens the power of genius. This stretches the imagination. Positive thinking towards greatness is the essential prerequisite for success momentum. Possibility thinking. I read the book by Nepal, by Ben Switland, and the title of the book, I Can, I Will, Go Rich While You Sleep. I've written a letter to Ben Switland, who used to reside in California, got his letter, and in the envelope, I found the smallest slips, I will, I can. And when he signed, he signed successfully yours. This is the way we create momentum in life. We should get freedom from the limitations, awakens the power that is inherent in us. All discoveries have been possible because we liberated ourselves from the belief in limitations. Progress in physics has been achieved when scientists had gone beyond the obvious. The aeroplanes, earlier it is believed 
that anything that is heavier than the air will not float in the air. But aeroplanes have proved that heavier than air objects can fly. Electricity, power of the atom, the steamships, all these inventions have been possible because of the belief. Belief in achieving the great things. Men of ordinary abilities achieve extraordinary results. They are impelled by the desire to succeed. Intense desire is the seed out of which explodes the opportunity. Tough times make us think big. Tough times make us think of various alternatives for solving the problems. But in comfortable circumstances make us comfortable and make us relax. The hard times make us work more, awaken our faculties. So we should be able to be enthusiastic and dare to succeed, aim high and take the initiative. I've seen the books written by all the great motivational writers, written by Ben Sweetland, Dale Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, Dr. David Schwartz, Rhonda Byrne, from the, the books of the, the having titled The Secret, and many other writers, they narrate their personal experiences of life and how they interacted with other people, how other persons have achieved success, and how these authors have struggled to achieve success in life. Similarly, I too have been struggling, reading these books, inspiring myself, and progressing in life. It all depends what kind of aim we have in mind. If wealth, material wealth, is the objective, a person can achieve material wealth by engaging in that kind of activity. If a person has a great aim of intellectual, uh, intellectual attainments, he can be an intellectual giant by pursuing his own goals. But this has to be almost an obsession, a 24 hours obsession. It cannot be a part-time job. We want to be intellectually great or materially great in financial resources, we have to engage in that activity in all the 24 hours basis, keep on thinking, working and materializing. I have my own experiences when I arrived, reached Mumbai in 1959. And the same day, I visited the Mumbai University I visited Bartlewell Accountancy Training Institute where I was to join as a student for studies, was preparing for the Chartered Accountants course. At the same day, I met a, a great Chartered Accountant in Mumbai, C.N. Singhbi, and he said, you can join me from today. And the same day, he gave me the papers to work on. And the same day, the very first day I landed in Mumbai, I began working. I also next day I visited Public Speaking Institute, which was nearby, near the Fort area, the Grand Tour East. There, the principal of the Public Spe Speaking Institute had a one-room tenement. Half the room he partitioned without, and a curtain, and had folding chairs of steel, where about 15 to 20 chairs could be placed, and he was conducting Public Speaking Institute, the only institute in Mumbai at that time. I met him and joined the institute. And thus I engaged myself fully in the intellectual pursuits. Even on Sundays I used to visit sometimes the Public Speaking Institute when the principal used to meet me and discuss about the art and science of effective speaking and various motivational books that he used to recommend. I also used to visit the CN Sangbe and Company Chartered Accountant's office on Sundays and work there. And when the CN Sangbe came to know that I'm visiting the office even on Sundays, he too was inspired 
I used to visit the office and we discussed various cases. And thus, I developed intellectually. I even used to visit Botany Accountancy Training Institute each Sunday because the staff used to be there as a student preparing for the examination. We were attending the institute for self-study. And thus I became a very favorite student of the principal, P.D. Birdie, or the son-in-law, great writer of accountancy, J.R. Botley Boy. And this is how I engaged myself fully in an intellectual activity and created a momentum of intellectual development. And thus, I am today feeling inspired to speak on success momentum.